Hey guys, it is 4.59. I am ready to start my night. Yes, I am just doing a night shift today. So I already have my first daughter. It is an Uber water. It is $19.05. It is going 4.3 miles. So pretty awesome order to start off the night. It's Pliables, which is my fruit bowl place, and then it's also JJ Delicacies, which is the Poke Bowl place I usually frequent a lot through Uber Eats. So, and plus they're right across the street from each other, so bonus is like going to the same restaurant. So anyway, that is my first order of the night. I am going to try, I'm going to try to put DoorDash on a time out tonight <laughs> and try, try being the key word, having an Uber only night just to kind of see what the night brings me and just to challenge myself and do something fun. So it's starting off with a $19 order. So guys, if you are new to my channel, I am a full-time multi-apper coming to you from New Jersey, specifically the Red Bank area. If you don't know where that is in relation to New Jersey, I'm probably about 10, 15 minutes away from the Jersey Shore. So guys, if you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe on the bottom. Also, while you're there, everyone give this video a big thumbs up. Those are the best ways of helping me continuing to grow my channel. Also, don't forget to share my video and then also don't forget to comment. I love hearing from you guys and I love interacting. So, guys, I'm ready to kick off tonight. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go make some money. get to the restaurant it's telling me it's only going to take me 28 minutes so $15 for 28 minutes of my time I will definitely do that so I am on my way to go pick it up it is local smoke smoked barbecue which is a barbecue place which is really yummy I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know much food that isn't yummy but barbecue is yummy but anyway I am on my way to pick up the next order. So I have to share with you guys, I was so upset. So this morning I decided to go to Duncan to get my family breakfast. So I pull into Duncan, park the car in, it's in a strip mall, and I go into Duncan. I'm in a Duncan, I'll say about 10 minutes, maybe not even 10 minutes. I get back to my car and I dropped the food off in my passenger side and I walked around the back to the driver's side and thank God I did. Someone freaking hit my car. <laughs> I'm so upset. So it looks like somebody like legitimately like backed out of a parking spot and like hit my bumper but like hit it square to the point where there's like a little hole in my bumper. I'm so upset. 
Did I say that already? I'm so upset. So, of course, they didn't stick around to say, hey, I hit your bumper. They just kind of bailed and left me with a broken bumper. Ugh. So I had to call the police and it took them 30 minutes to get there because Let's face it, I'm not on the priority list because nobody was hurt and I was just reporting that my bumper. Ugh. Anyway, and now I just have to make the decision on whether I want to get it fixed or not because I want to eventually trade in this car to get a new car. So is it worth it if I'm going to get a new car soon? I don't know. I don't know, but it was not a happy morning this morning. Now, luckily, it was literally just my bumper. I'll show you guys once I stop at the next restaurant so you can see my fantastic bumper, but ugh, ugh. restaurant which is good it's local smoked barbecue which I just went to before but it's all good because it's an easy restaurant to grab and go it's 7.3 miles so I'm gonna go to the restaurant pick it up and be on my way <laughs> really the basically the reason why I took it I mean seven dollars for five miles isn't the most fantastic order either but it was going like completely out of my way and then in order to get home I would have to take the parkway home and pay more money in tolls which would have just lessened my profits of the order so that is the reason why I did not take it so I'm trying to head closer to home right now so a couple of updates on the orders that have come back with the tips already. My very first order tonight, or I should say my second order tonight, that was $14.46. It became $19.25. And then my $15.58 order became $21. So I am on a roll tonight as far as tips are concerned and them going up so bonus so I'm waiting on my next order so I declined this order four dollars and 43 cents it's going 3.8 miles the only good thing about this order it was Panera um, and this Panera particularly is an easy grab-and-go but it's just going in the opposite 
opposite direction of where I am even trying to get to, which is back to home, so I declined that order. But I just got, I did take this order, because this does bring me back to home. So it's $8.21, going 4.8 miles. It's Wawa, so I know it'll be an easy order. Saying it's going to take 17 minutes. 2.1 miles is actually getting to Wawa, and then it'll be two minute, two minutes, well, two miles to the customer's house. And then right after that, I then got this order for $12.73. It's going to a sushi place that's uh, probably about a couple blocks over from where Wawa is. So for basically eight miles, almost nine miles, I got a $20 batched order and I am heading to Wawa as we speak. Okay, so as I'm waiting on my next order, first of all, the last batched order was done, my $20 batched order, but I wanted to show this to you because I'm waiting on my next order. My $24 batched order became a $32 batched order. This is a happy face. So I'm going to continue on and look for my next order. Okay, so next order is $14.08. It's called the Bistro at Red Bank. It's actually a really cool restaurant. Um, it has like a mixture of like sushi, but also like Italian, and they also have burgers. So they kind of like a little bit of like everything, and the food is super good. But anyway, so it's going 7.5 miles. So, sorry, traffic jam happening right here. All because people want to valet. Really? Let's cause a traffic jam because I want to valet. Whatever. So, anyway. <laughs> it's going to be 7.5 miles. It's actually staying within the same town. It's just on like the opposite side. And two of the miles are actually getting to the restaurant. So it'll be five miles once I get there. So yeah. Okay, so it took me about... 15 minutes to get my next order after the last drop off, but I'm taking $7.42 Urban Coal House, which is my yummy pizza place. That's very exciting. It's going only two miles, so heck, two miles. That's an easy order. So I'm going to go right now to go pick up Urban Coal House. Ooh, let's see what they ordered. I always love to see what people order. It gives me ideas on what I want to order. Yeah, just a plain pizza she ordered. Nothing exciting. I will say, though, that the last person before me, like the, um, I went to the bistro at Red Bank, and they ordered crispy bus Brussels sprouts, and I'm not a big, I'll eat them if they're in front of me, but I'm not a big fan of Brussels sprouts, but the smell that was coming from the bag and in my car, and I'm like, ugh. I don't like the smell of Brussels sprouts. But anyway, now that I digressed into Brussels sprouts, <laughs> let me go pick up this pizza. Okay, so my next update, my $20 batched order I had that was going to Wawa and then a sushi place. So anyway, the $20 batched order became a $26.95 batched order. So that tip just came back. So I'm on a roll and I'm gonna keep on going. Okay, so my next order is $11.30. It's a place called La Pastaria that literally just does pasta, which is really good. I haven't been there and I can't tell you how long, but their food is really good. So if you're in New Jersey, go check some of these restaurants out. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with many of these restaurants in Red Bank, but anyway. So it's going at 5.2 miles, 21 minutes. So I'm about ready to go in, grab the order, and then I will be on my way. Okay, so next order is $7.53. It's going 4.5 miles. I'm like, eh, it's JR's, it's my local restaurant. I know that they'll have my order ready, it'll be quick, so I don't think it's gonna take the full 20 minutes. 
So anyway, so people are tipping well tonight, I have to say. So the, sorry, let me pull it up. The $14 order I did earlier became a $28 single order. Holy moly, now that's an order for you. So anyway, I'm at JR's right now. Let me go in and grab it and Okay, so I just tried to do a $17 batched order to Burger King. I was so excited. I'm like, this is how I'm going to end my night. I get to Burger King and it's closed. They had computer malfunctions is what they said on the speaker. So I had to spend 5 to 10 minutes on the phone with support. And they cancel both orders, and I only got $3 for both orders, but whatever, say lovey, move on. So here is my last order of the night. It is $8.12. It's going 2.9 miles, and I'll be officially calling it a night after this order. Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for watching this video into the end. I really appreciate it. Man, it was a rocking night last night. It was just a lot of fun to be out and to be working. So what can I say about last night? So last night taught me a couple things working one up. I feel like it kind of brought me back to my original roots. And I always talk about strategies. And this really made me kind of think if I only had one app, how would I go about just working one app? And that was a strategy that I went into last night. And I think it was a good exercise for me to do because it challenged me, but it also made me think, okay, if DoorDash app goes down, how would I then go ahead and just work Uber? And that's exactly the mindset I went into last night. So with that being said, let's go right in to the numbers of yesterday for uber i did 203 dollars and 40 cents i worked six hours yesterday so i did oh, i just lost it that quickly 33 dollars and 83 cents an hour I did 12 trips yesterday on Uber, so on an average, I did $16.91 a trip. I think that is a record for me on trips as far as I can remember. So anyway, guys, those are my numbers for last night. So if you are new to my channel, I am a full-time multi-apper that does Uber Eats and DoorDash, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the bottom before you leave today. Also, guys, please give this video a big thumbs up. Those are the best ways of helping me to continue to grow my channel. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family, and then leave me comments because I love interacting with each and every one of you guys. And that is it for today. So if you are driving, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.